Hi, my name is Bernadette. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about um, certain hacks, what you can do when you are in, ex in an extreme crisis situations when you are in extreme crisis situations. That means car accident, that means um, uh, if you just uh, receive really, really bad news like the loss of a, of a loved one or if you get a really bad diagnosis, a health diagnosis, uh, something crushing, something that is re really, really shocking your nervous system and what you can do in this specific period at the moment you receive this message and in the um, in the period after that. So first, you have to understand that the most important thing is that you get back in your body. That means breathing. You have to concentrate on your breathing. How you can do that? You put your hand on your chest and you start to breathe because you need oxygen. You need oxygen to process, to function. And often we start to rush our breathing and we can get a little bit dizzy and so on. So hand on your chest and breathe out. The uh, Breathing out is the most important. So there are uh, some other hacks you can to do to get into the body. That means rubbing, also rubbing your body, right? Your, your legs, your chest, just something tactile. Hug somebody. If you have someone close to you, hugging is a very, very important thing if you are in a crisis mode. Literally, babies die if you don't touch them. It's something very vital and can reduce all stress uh, symptoms in a blink of an eye. If you don't have someone close to you or nearby, you can hug. Uh, take a shower. Anything that is tactile, anything that brings you back into your body. Uh, drink water. Drink as much water as you can. You have to hydrate yourself. Also, next thing, you have to contact somebody. Don't sit there alone, be in this panic mode and stress and your uh, thoughts go in circles. Call somebody. If the first person, your best friend, is not picking up the phone, literally just call the next person in your, uh, in your phone book, in your, in your telephone. It doesn't matter if it's your best friend, if it's just someone you just know for a little bit, just to hear the voice of a person. Uh, uh, people are generally nice if you don't want to share everything what is happening uh, right now to you. Just be in general, just say uh, you kind of feeling getting dizzy and you just wanted to let somebody know. So also this information is already sufficient to alert the other person on the, um, on the telephone. Also just knock at a neighbor's door, even if you don't have the closest relationship to your neighbor or even not the best relationship to your neighbor. Knock anyway, knock or ring the doorbell and say you feel dizzy or if you have a closer relationship to your neighbor, share what is happening to you. It is very important that you are not isolated isolating yourself and maybe your brain is just racing racing, and you are in a scattered uh, brain mode and the shock, the emotional and uh, the emotional uh, shock can be uh, too uh, hard distress for you. So, and the last hack, the last very important thing is when you are in this crisis, um, like I said, get back into your body, breathe, rub your body, get a shower, uh, call somebody, get in contact with another person, get a hug, get a phone call, talk to your neighbor, someone nearby. And the third really, really important thing is that you concentrate only on the, 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 the recent future. Just concentrate on the next steps. Don't make plans. Don't let your head race into the future. What will be, what you have to do to solve this problem. Just try to sit down, have a cup of tea, a coffee, uh, some water, tr concentrate on your breathing, uh, um, try to contact someone you can talk this through and not 
pro project yourself already in the into the worst case scenario you have to stay in the present the most important now is breathing the most important now is getting into the body if you can have a walk somewhere safe in your area or if you can uh, call somebody to have a walk with you that is also very good to get fresh air to move your belly to get the stress out of the body if you need rest um, uh, try to lay down listen to calming music and try to sleep uh, maybe you have a calming tea or uh, maybe a glass of red wine if you're not opposed to that but anything that can calm you right now in the moment and after that this is uh, the topic for another video, but here we are talking about what you can do in extreme crisis mode. When you receive the diagnosis, when you receive the bad news of someone passing, when you receive a catastrophic financial news that bring you on the brink of um, bankruptcy, all this extreme news. So that was my message for today. Always breathe. There is it's never the last, uh, it's only over until it's over. There is always a perspective. There is always a new day. There is always a new door opening for you. There is always a new path that will open for you. So never forget that. And um, be aware that crisis and panic is just a specific time it's a very short time and after that life um, looks differently and just try to breathe be in your body and contact a person of, uh, of confidence or if you don't have the possibility to reach someone uh, you trust try to uh, contact someone anyway and just say just share you feeling dizzy right now and you have the, uh, the you are afraid that you uh, um, fall into a blackout and so you just wanted to reach out to somebody never be afraid to share never be afraid to um, share with someone call 911 call the emergency number in your region never uh, it, 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 it never be afraid to Never hesitate to reach out to someone. So, I wish all the best to you and hear you soon. Bye-bye.